All right, so you clicked on this video to see what an easy setup is for the Salmon River. And in this video, I am gonna show you step by step every little detail of the setup I use when I go salmon fishing. All right, guys, there you go. My first fish of the day. In this video, I'm gonna cover everything from the main line to the leader to anything and everything in between. What's really cool about this setup is you can utilize it whether you're using a fly fishing rod or a spinning rod. Either way, this is gonna work and you're gonna catch fish. All right guys, before we get started, I just wanna let you know, I did make a killer video about the bare basics of the Salmon River and how the fishing works and rules and regulations and um, basic setup and just the basic 411 knowledge of the Salmon River. I made a video about that. It's gonna be in the description below. You guys can check that out after you're done with this video. All right guys, so let's not waste any more time. I'm actually gonna bring the camera down to my table where I have everything laid out for you guys and I'm gonna go over step by step how you guys can make this setup your own. Let's go. All right guys, so here we are with the entire setup. Now I cranked up the light really good in order for you guys to see my line and all that stuff. So I am gonna go from start to finish all the way through. First and foremost, your main line, right? What I use is this Yozuri Top Knot Main Line, okay? This one in particular that I use is 16 pound test. That's what I use for my main line. So, with that being said, my main line is right over here, okay? I'm hoping the camera catches it. That's my main line right here. My main line goes to a barrel swivel over here, okay? This one in particular is a number seven size barrel swivel okay right above it you guys see i have two split shots okay now i know a common question is well how many split shots do i use sometimes two three is enough sometimes you need more sometimes you got to go up to five maybe even six it all depends where you're fishing so that is up to you all right guys as far as split shots are concerned this is what i'm using i'm pretty sure i picked this up at walmart or something split shots or split shots main point of it is to keep your stuff down now the reason i put my split shots on the main line and above the barrel swivel is because obviously the main line is less likely to break so when i break off and i gotta re-rig that's one less thing i gotta worry about all right so far we got our main line we got the split shots we got a barrel swivel now we are moving down to our leader i hope you guys can see it there we go now for purposes of this video this is a very short leader this is not what I would use. This is way too short. Now, the New York State DEC allows you to have a four-foot leader. Now, another cool tip, what I've seen a lot of guys doing on the river, they'll actually mark their rod. So, you just get exactly 48 inches of line and then you're legal. Anything over that is illegal. Make sure you are at 48 inches or below. Now, for my leader, I like to use berkeley vanish you can go anywhere from 12 pound test to six pound test that honestly depends on what's going on in the river if the water level is super low if it's clear conditions they're more likely to see a 12 pound test line as opposed to six pound test a lot of guys don't like using the vanish i personally do i've had a lot of luck with it and it's durable it doesn't get tangled up on me i honestly think for a leader this is absolutely superb right here so make sure you guys pick you up one of these now moving further down the line we got our leader and that leads into the hook so just so you guys are up to speed we got our main line we got the two split shots to a barrel swivel we got a leader which obviously is going to consist of a lower pound test line and ends up in a hook now the hooks i like to use are these little mosquito hooks these in particular size four i like to go a little higher in size sometimes but these work really well now keep in mind there are restrictions as far as what size hook you can use and what kind of hooks you can use you can't use treble hooks stuff like that you can check out my other video for that but this is something i would recommend for a beginner right over here these are good hooks sharp and durable now the question is what do we put on our hook right so there actually is a number of things you can use. Some people even use these little 
Mr. Twister jigs. Some people use spawn sacks. This thing right here is the real deal. It's real stuff. Now you have imitation spawn sacks such as these. I want to try to, there you go. I want to make sure you guys can see it a little better. There's even a sponge. I've gotten a lot of questions on my other videos. What do you mean a sponge? It literally is just a sponge. Now you break yourself off a little piece just like that. Take your hook and just wrap it around a couple of times. That's all it takes. Some say that it will imitate an egg if you have the right colors, but I doubt salmon are that stupid. I actually think they're really smart. To me, it's more of an indicator. You get to see this thing really well in the water because when you are salmon fishing, majority of the time using this setup at least, you are sight fishing. All right guys, now just to go over everything one more time, we got our main line, which in my case is the Yozuri 16 pound test line. Then on top of that, we have two split shots or on top of the barrel swivel rather. And on the other side of the barrel swivel, we have our leader, which consists of 48 inches or shorter. My preference, I like to use the Vanish, anything from 12 to six pound test, depending on water conditions. Moving down the line, we have our hook, which in this case, I prefer the mosquito hooks. Size four or a little bit bigger will work just fine. And for our bait, we can go anything from spawn sacks, imitation spawn sacks, just a piece of sponge, or even a little Mr. Twister. All right, guys, there you have it. I want to make a quick, short, and sweet video about this setup that I use for the Salmon River. I hope it helps you guys. I hope you guys catch a lot of fish. If you do and you do utilize the setup, please come back. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how it works for you. And if you made it this far in the video, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys were to hit the thumbs up on the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you feel about it. If you want some more information about it, communicate with me. That's what I'm here for. And also, guys, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content. And make sure you check out my description so you can see my other video of the Salmon River Basics video. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, tight lines. Mm -hmm.